put you in first for that first series. That's kind of that first moment of realizing, like, okay, I guess it's time to uh, start out this defensive series for the for the team. Your evaluation of how you played? Uh, I felt good. It felt really good to get out there and play. Uh, it was my first time playing, you know, and having a majority of snaps during a football game. So it just felt really good to just be out there and run around and just get to really finally play football. It's been a while since I got to play a lot of snaps. How different is it you to, for you to play three tech compared to defensive end? Uh, like what goes into it? Yeah, there's a lot of different responsibilities you got to do. You got to learn uh, kind of new footwork, the new blocks. And for me, I've never really played inside, even in high school. I never really did. So it just, you know, from the transition in spring ball and then camp and then these last couple of weeks of finally really getting to hone in on it, it's, uh, it's been pretty new. And you just kind of take it one day at a time, learn different things, and just keep, you know, working at it. Now, when you, you last year, the last couple of years, you've spent a lot of time trying to mirror what Rashawn was doing. Does that help you at all when you move inside, having some of those techniques, oh, even though it's a different position? Oh, for sure. Just, you know, he plays really aggressive. And then on the inside, you just got to play even more aggressive because you've got, you know, this, the guard and then the tackle to worry about. And you're getting 600 pounds on you every single play. And then, oh, here comes the center to add a triple team on you. And you got to you know, hold your ground, and uh, it really helped watching a lot of uh, Mo la uh, last year, and just kind of watching his tape really helps you prepare to, you know, play that three-tech position. How steep was the learning curve when you first moved inside? Uh, for me, it was pretty uh, pretty tough, just because I had never really done it, and it's a whole lot faster, you know. At the, at the anchor position, what we call it, you just gotta watch that tight end, and then whatever he does, you just kind of play off of it, you know. If you try to mirror anyone's footwork inside, you're gonna end up, you know, 10 yards you know, running into your linebackers, messing up the whole defensive play. So how much film, do you still watch Mo's film or anybody else? Oh, watch? of course, now it's fun to just watch him do yeah. the, exact same, the, the exact same thing that he did here at the Oakland Raiders. So, do you watch anybody else though to pick up? Oh, uh, Wormley, Glasgow, Taco, you know, those are the guys I, you know, came in with when I was a freshman. And it's just really fun to just see, like, they were here with Coach Maddie, and then now they're doing the same thing that, you know, they were doing their senior years here in the NFL. I meant, are you picking up things from them? Are you studying them? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Specifically, I like to watch Mo, you know, just because his get off was so, you know, it's elite you really can't teach it and that just helped him be so successful and just causing so much havoc for offenses looked like you played well how'd you grade out uh i haven't got the grade sheet yet you feel uh, pretty good about how you played i mean me yeah <laughs> yeah i feel great i felt good about how i played but we'll see uh when the grade sheet comes out some you know usually when you think you had a good practice it's not as good as it is and you know vice versa how do you go about evaluating yourself that you thought you played well? Um, uh, it'll be good uh, just to see how I really did and get the grade sheet because now moving forward, you know, this week's over, but we learn from it and we got to get ready for SMU and get rid of the things that I didn't do so well and uh, try to lessen that for this week's game. Carla, where, where have you made the biggest strides since coming here? Uh, probably just, you know, confidence. That's a whole lot of thing at, at college football. You just got to believe in yourself because it's going to be really tough at times, you know. There's a big learning curve. Everyone's very, very good. Everyone's stronger than you, especially when you come in. And you, you just got to make sure that even if no one believes in you, you just got to believe in yourself and then, you know, work on one thing every single day and then, uh, you know, keep battling. Where have you made improvements size and strength-wise? Uh, especially with this year with that new weight staff, it's just uh, my lower body had always been – predominantly bigger than my upper body and this year I just felt like I really was able to get my upper body to where I want it to be and I just feel it on the field where I feel a whole lot stronger and even if I'm not that much stronger it's just the confidence that you have that you know if you believe you're stronger you'll be stronger. Were you worried that you wouldn't have the strength to, to move inside and how much more strength do you need to play inside? Uh, when, when I was told to you know consider playing uh, the three tech I wanted to make sure I was at the proper weight and so I put on an extra maybe 25 pounds this off season just to get ready to play that position and with the new weight staff and the nutritionist it wasn't 
really that hard to do so. We were eating right, we were working hard, and everybody was getting stronger. And that, you know, that was always a thing. Where it was like, can I take on 600 pounds at a time? And you know, with Coach Herb and Abigail, you know, you can if you just, you know, we worked hard. Was there any hesitation about moving inside? I know you already moved from linebacker to anchor. Was there any hesitation about moving again? No, because you just want to, you just want to get on the field. So you know, if they recommend moving inside, you, I'm not going to fight that. You know, I'm going to try to be the best at the three tech that I can and just fight my way onto the field. What is eating right to gain 25 pounds in tail? I mean, that's guys mean oh, a lot of food. Right, just knowing when to eat, what to eat, and making sure that when you eat, it's you know a good meal. You know, chicken breasts, rice, all you know, drinking tons and tons of water, uh, and then making sure that after you know you work out, you drink your protein shake. It's just all that little stuff that you know if you do it from day one, by the time of three months of training, it, you just build up. On it. So no pizza marathons. No pizza marathons. <laughs> Carlo, what are some of the things watching a game like a fan can take away, regardless of the 